Take it away, Diane. From archival film taken by Ted Moffat 36 years ago, a five-minute video record of a solo 32-mile swim in 14 hours, 38 minutes. The 1967 swim from Island to the Bridge. Frank Drum and Paul Gerard sits with preparations. Grease with shark repellent is used. And Ted is taken to the island by KSFO reporter Jerry Thompson while the Zodiac is launched. He leaves the island escorted by a gull and the whaler. Someone is making a log. We don't know what this is. Captain of the EVK escort, David Kinley, guides the entourage. And the swim goes on and on and on. They said there might be a shark, so I was going fast. They get away. John Parent gets into Pastehead. He stays closer to the boat. Probably so. If a shark does come up, Ted gets eaten first. And Ted realizes this. The island fades from the horizon. Paul Lathrop analyzes the course and position. And the captain keeps watching for sharks. The bird helps too. And the island is even farther away. Feedings are every 45 minutes or so. Taking about 10 seconds of feeding. Finally, the coast appears and the position is checked. Temperature. An astounding 60 degrees Fahrenheit while a man of war is pulled out of the swim path. Captain and crew are getting a little anxious. They're watching closely, observing, taking a stroke count. They're closing in, but slowing. Visitors start arriving from around the bay entrance. And Duncan McCloyd prepares to pace Ted for a while. Traffic increases. Hank Schramm of the Salmon Queen arrives with media. My own life preserver. And the same gull is still watching over Ted. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Colonel Stu Evans on the outside, pacing the approach to the bridge. And there it is. The end marked with flares. Very weak wave. And Paul Gerard needing attention before the swimmer. In the end, it's a done deal. With smiles from the swimmer and um, people bunch from of, the Dolphin Club. 
Oh, you're staring Robert at the Glenn body. Robert in the South End Rowing Club. Okay. Where I took a sauna. 